mind and the modern man except from horizons beyond the mind. Mind is the most important faculty both for inner and outer lives. Mind acts as a filter through which various impulses arise as an interaction between various sense organs and the outer world. It is very simple. When a situation or circumstance comes, your mind creates many impulses as you are interacting with the particular circumstances and situations and in that with the peoples, with the people around. These impulses of the physical, mental and intellectual and spiritual consciousness determine the behavioral patterns of life. For example, you are driving on the road. All of a sudden, a person gives you a bad drive. Now the mind comes to operation. And here it uses the impulses of the physical, mental and intellectual consciousness and you act, react and respond in many ways. And these determine the behavioral patterns in life. If there is specks of a spiritual consciousness, harmony within and a deep understanding, then the behavioral pattern will be different. Otherwise, we go on pretending to be meditative for 20 years, 30 years, but unless and until the consciousness develops within and there is transformation, all that you say is meaningless. When the consciousness grows in you, there is a total change in your behavioral patterns. The impulses of physical, mental and intellectual plane work in a different manner as guided by the spiritual awareness or consciousness or deep understanding. As an individual, you are living in a scientific age. This is the age of dynamism where everything is moving at a tremendous pace or high velocity. In the age of dynamism, all progress and growth is measured in terms of scientific advancements. All this leads man to remain entangled in a world of activities where everything dilutes and enchants. Mind is the most important faculty both for inner and outer lives. Mind acts as a filter through which various impulses arise as an interaction between various sense organs and the outer world. When a circumstance and situation comes, it is through these sense organs, various impulses reach our mind and when there is distortion or disturbance within and there is a lack of harmony and understanding, then all those impulses create chaos in us. And when there is a harmony within, then these impulses cannot create any chaos within then you are guided by spiritual consciousness. As an individual, we live in a scientific age. This is the age of dynamism where everything is moving at a tremendous pace or high velocity. In the age of dynamism, all progress and growth is measured in terms of scientific advancements. All these lead men to remain entangled in a world of activities where everything dilutes and enchants. How does these impulses reach our inner self? For example, you are driving on the road. Someone gives you a bad drive. Now the impulses reach and because of the chaos within, lack of understanding, you react. 
if there is harmony within there is a deep understanding and you are guided by spiritual consideration spiritual awareness then you will look at the same circumstances and situations differently maybe this has been given to me as an indication as an acid test to see how far have i grown in my awareness otherwise our first reaction we immediately react and then later on we repent that it should have not been when meditation deepens in us we are more and more ingrained in our spiritual awareness no one is sure in what direction life is heading for right or wrong self elevation or self gratification on one hand these scientific advancements have given much comfort for you to live in the world of impermanency because here everything keeps on changing and nothing remain the same why the world is impermanent because nothing remains permanent here you go on your facebook as you are trying to respond to one message many pops up at the same time no message remains for more than a few seconds like a stampede these keep on coming onto the surface a thought comes to your mind next moment circumstance and situation changes another thought comes it never remains permanent this is the nature of impermanency bliss harmony is the only thing that is permanent and has the flavor of eternal however on the other hand these have taken away the peace and serenity that you rightfully deserve but do not have there is an unending quest to acquire more and more and the serenity of the inner being is replaced by the agitations of the mind such is the situation of man as a despondent one with minds filled with agitation and a constant pursuit to acquire more and more in this we have forgotten that as an individual you have to realize who you are and what is the purpose in life life is mystical no mystery can be solved you have to learn to accept it and live with it while living in the world and constantly engaged in material pursuits man has lost control on his mind and touch with the inner self caught up in this web is the modern man you your situation is like that of the one who is served with a delicious food on a big platter he has one morsel in his mouth bigger than the capacity of the mouth in the hand he has another morsel and the eyes are fixed on what is on the platter isn't it a true picture in simple words this example gives the picture of the modern man being engaged in an insatiable quest to acquire more and more and in doing so you do not enjoy what you have in your possession instead you remain bothered about what you do not have this constantly agitates the mind i have heard a man bought a lottery ticket that was for a million dollars but he win 500000 now he is saying that he lost 500000 because he was expecting a million dollars and he got only 500000 his wife says we gained 500000 it is a matter to rejoice the man says how can i rejoice when i lost 500000 such is the situation of us in doing so 
we do not recognize what we have in our possession. Instead, you remain bothered about what you do not have. This constantly agitates the mind. With an agitated mind, you cannot lead a successful outer life or continue the inward journey. And if you aspire to live an eternal life of serenity and contentment, your mind deceives and beclouds the manifestation of truth. Mind, therefore, is the most important faculty both for inner and outer lives. Mind acts as a filter through which various impulses arise as an interaction between various sense organs and the outer world. These impulses of the physical, mental, intellectual and spiritual consciousness naturally determine the behavioral patterns of our life. On the other hand, soul is self-existent being with infinite forces, infinite force of consciousness and unconditional delight and effulgence. Consciousness too interacts and reflects but only through tranquil mind. Remember, consciousness too interacts and reflects, but only through tranquil mind. When this process becomes a continuum, you are at the threshold of a new life, a new beginning, that will unfold into an infinite realm of bliss, contentment, and serenity beyond all finiteness. But the mind has the power of deception in its own way to unlimited quantum. Mind clothes its desires and preferences with all kind of wonderful intentions and it hides its tricks, resentments and disappointments under the most favorable appearances. To overcome that, you must have the fearlessness of a true warrior and honesty, a straightforwardness and sincerity that never fails.